my name is Janelle and welcome to Janelle Read. Today I'm going to be doing a book review of A Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkness. A Discovery of Witches is actually the first book in the All Souls trilogy. In this book we meet scholar Diana Bishop who is currently studying the history of the science of alchemy in Oxford. During her research, Diana stumbles upon a manuscript called Ashmole 782. As she's looking through this manuscript and making her annotations, she realizes that something's a little off. It looks like it's magic related. Diana Bishop is a witch trying to separate her magical background from her academic career her entire life. Opening this manuscript and seeing how weird it was, although it does pertain to her research, she decides to quickly make any annotations she can and puts it back on the shelf and that's it. Unfortunately, that's not it. Or well, unfortunately for her, that's not it. The opening up of this manuscript actually caused quite a stir in the mystical community. In this world that Deborah Harkness has created, we have four different types of creatures. We have regular humans, vampires, witches, and demons. The whole mythical community is trying to get their hands on this manuscript that little did Diana know had been lost for centuries. Why is this manuscript so important? It only talks about the origin of all these mystical creatures and how to create new species and, you know, the usual manuscript stuff. Also in search of this manuscript is a vampire named Matthew Claremont. Matthew has also been searching for this manuscript for centuries and kind of helps Diana fill in the empty spots in her research where Ashmole 782 is concerned. Matthew lets Diana know that this manuscript has been lost for centuries, that everybody's looking for it, and would like to know how it miraculously got into her hands. Now as far as Diana is concerned, all she did was request it from the library stock and it was given to her. Throughout Matthew and Diana's time together, they start to develop a non-academic relationship. An intense non-academic relationship. I thought this book was great. I gave it four and a half out of five stars. I think that you can compare this to the Da Vinci Code books just in the sense that everything is related. When I first started reading it, there's different storylines developing and then as the story develops and as you get closer and closer to the end, all of these what you originally or what I originally thought were different storylines is actually all involved in the same thing really because you know I'm not going to give it away. What I didn't like about this book was that it took so long to get to the point. So the first half of the novel is basically just gearing you up, trying to get you as much information as possible about this world that Deborah Harkness has created and in a way I understand. There's a lot of information that you're trying to absorb and Diana Bishop is a historian after all so since this is told in first person whatever she's reading, thinking, feeling you're gonna know about it and it makes sense that she takes a while to get to the action part of the story. That's not to say that the first half is boring by any means it was obviously interesting enough because I got through it but I just feel like it took a really long time to get to the good stuff. But the good part is, is that once you get to about halfway through, so 250 pages in, it's just non-stop. The relationship between Matthew and Diana starts to really take off and starts to really develop. On top of that, you have revelation after revelation about this manuscript and the significance that it has in Diana's life in particular. It was incredible. I, I was reading it and I would stop. I wanted to talk to people about this and it's crazy because <laughs> I'm a little late on the discovery of witches bandwagon but it was totally worth the read, it was totally worth the wait, it was just, if you can get your hands on this, if you like paranormal novels, I would definitely pick this up except it's so much more than a paranormal novel, it's a historical fiction novel with paranormal elements, with some romance elements suspense, mystery, it's almost every single genre wrapped up in one and I just think it's phenomenal. I already started reading the second book in the All Souls trilogy called Shadow of Night and yeah I just 
this is amazing. So again, four and a half out of five stars. If you've already read it, please let me know below so we can talk about it. Um, if you liked it, if you didn't like it, please let me know what you thought about A Discovery of Witches. That's it. That's my review. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!